I'm always delighted to be with Solomon News. This has been such a leader in the conservative movement and the Republican Party. Welcome to the Saul's Newsstand News Rewind for November 24th, 2023. Fox News reports, scams targeting older Americans, many using AI, caused over $1 billion in losses in 2022. Older Americans reportedly lost $1.6 billion to fraud in 2022, according to the Federal Trade Commission, and many scams are utilizing AI technology to clone the voices of people they knew and other AI-generated ploys. The most prominent scams used AI technology to mimic people's voices, such as family members or loved ones, who then make calls to the victims asking for money. Several testimonies from witnesses in a congressional hearing last week said they received calls that sounded exactly like their loved one was in danger, was injured, or was being held hostage. The top 10 categories of scams reported last year were financial impersonation and fraud, robocalls, computer scams, catfishing on dating profiles, identity theft, and others. We would strongly encourage you to read the full article by clicking on the link in the description below. The Hill reports, Democrats urge Biden to revamp campaign's economic message. Democrats think it's time for President Biden to recalibrate his economic message if he wants to resonate with voters going into the 2024 election. President Biden hasn't been able to break through to voters with his top message, that the economy is better off now than it was when he took office. He's been touting Bidenomics along the campaign trail, tying his name to his economic agenda in an attempt to take credit for a healing financial market. Despite criticism from fellow Democrats, the White House has been working to show off the president's policies that aim to lower prices for Americans, which largely stem from the Inflation Reduction Act and the bipartisan infrastructure law and they say they will keep spreading the word of Bidenomics. And finally, the Washington Examiner reports, Biden impeachment, Republicans could finish their investigation by end of the year. The House Republicans are inching closer to filing articles of impeachment against President Joe Biden. The House Oversight Committee announced its subpoenas of Biden's son and brother, Hunter and James Biden respectively, earlier this month. Interviews with the men could offer the committee further insight into whether the president was directly involved in foreign business dealings or the influence peddling the family has been accused of. But an impeachment inquiry into the president based on the available information would not only face difficulty gaining a majority in the House, but it wouldn't stand much of a chance in the Democratic-led Senate and the Republicans could face significant embarrassment if they bring articles against Biden and fail to garner enough support in the House. And that concludes your Saul's Newsstand News Rewind for November 24th, 2023. For more political news faster, visit saulsnews.com.